everybody, here on Thomas the Tank and Jones 2. Today, I want to talk about Journey Beyond Sodor. Today is August 9th. Yesterday was August... Yesterday was Tuesday, August 8th. That was the day that Journey Beyond Sodor came out on digital. So... Journey Beyond Sodor is now on YouTube. You can try searching it up. Just try just search up Thomas and Friends Journey Beyond Sodor US full movie or just Journey Beyond Sodor full movie and you'll get a video of it. So, I watched the video this morning. I like literally woke up at 7 7:50 in the morning. I I got on my phone and as soon as I saw it I was like, Mom! And then I was going to race to my mom's room because I'm in there all the time. Because I can watch YouTube on the TV. Isn't it cool? That's the power of having a fire stick. <laughs> so, today I watched Journey Beyond Sodor. And I have to say, it is my most favorite movie ever. I will not lie. I mean... They show, on Thomas and Friends' YouTube channel, they posted an eight-minute video on, like, a little sneak peek. But I swear to God, after seeing Journey Beyond Sodor, that was the best movie ever. Cars 3 takes second place. I'm sorry, but Cars 3 was my favorite movie, but now Thomas and Friends has made an excellent art. I'm sorry, Cars 3, but Disney Disney and Pixar made, did a fantastic job with Cars 3, but now after watching Journey Beyond Sodor, it's my favorite movie ever. Cars 3 sadly gets the yellow flag and gets taken in a second. My third favorite movie that has the red flag is probably Thomas... No. No, uh... Cars 1. You know, because Cars 1 is my favorite movie. My third favorite. Cars 1... Thomas and Friends is first. Cars 3 takes second. And Cars 1 is third. Every other movie I ever saw, I will put, like, a link... Nah, I'm just playing. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to put a link in the description for, like, other people's YouTube videos to, like, give you a link to the video to show you what what it really is. But, yeah, on YouTube, they got the full movie. If you want to buy it on DVD, it comes out on August 22nd. Second. It comes out on the 22nd. You can buy it off retail. And guess what, you guys? I found on Amazon, I bought some cars, and on Friday, if they come, I'm going to do a video solely unboxing it. My second unboxing review. I'm going to be so excited if it happens. So, you guys, that's all. Now, no, that's not all. I'm just going to say that. No! I'm going to review the movie. So, in the beginning of the movie, they just tell us how Sodor... It's like that Thomas episode, Bubbling Boilers. They say how the branch line and the express and everything is important. So, Henry has, like, the same accident as James. He's pulling a freight train, but then the signal won't go up. Like, they're trying to change the signal, but it goes halfway up and then just goes down. It shows a little bit of red at the signal, but then it just drops back down to green. So then, in slow motion, it shows Henry hitting the brakes from his front wheels. Yet again, why, why are the brakes coming out of the front wheels? I mean, do tender engines have brakes in the front? Like they're bogies? I don't understand it. But it was cool. Then a troublesome truck was screaming, and he hit the brake van from the side. And then, I'm going to take Jackson Storm as an example here. 
he pushed right through the wall and ended up like going halfway side. He had like the same accident as James. He didn't fall though. It literally happened at like mid and afternoon or so because by evening they took him back to the steamworks. And then James got to pull the goods train, but at like 7 o'clock in the morning, James went to go collect his goods train, but then found out that Thomas took it. He, so, the troublesome trucks, knowing who they are, were causing trouble and all that. So Thomas got, Thomas went to a crane, and there's the second song. Altogether, I'm pretty sure there were only set six songs in the movie, but I wouldn't know. So Thomas find Thomas sees that under the crane there's a track. So he backs up, switches points, and then he goes right under him. Which I thought was pretty cool. He's like, Oh, I have to get out of here now. Oh yeah, baby. So anyway. After that, Thomas meets Lexi, Theo, and Merlin is also mentioned, but wasn't seen there. So, he pumped his pistons away. Then he went to the steelworks, which was amazing. And Frankie has the most awesome voice. Whoever voiced Frankie... Good job on the on the song, what was it called? The Hottest Place in Town. That was amazing. You too, Hurricane. Whoever voiced Hurricane as well did a great job. In fact, every, char every character in every Thomas movie did a great job. Except for James and Percy in Thomas and the Magic Railroad. I mean, like, what the heck? So, anyways, Thomas tries to bust down the gate after they wouldn't let him leave. He's like, we, ha we have to do all this here. They locked him inside. Then Thomas tried to escape, but he wasn't paying attention to what he was doing. He ran down a track, but then he fell off the rails. Because there were no rails, there were just sleepers. You know, like those, bo those wooden boards under the rails? Those are sleepers are, what sleepers are. So Thomas like fell off the tracks. And then Tom, Hurricane apparently pulled Thomas from a long chain or a small one because Thomas fell a lot farther than the rails. Yet Thomas seems to be so close. So then again, Thomas tries to escape. Then the crane, Beresford he meant, he um, picked him up, and then James and Thomas were in a run-in. They were running away from Frankie and Hurricane, because they were like the kidnappers of the movie. They didn't want Thomas or James to leave. And so after that, I found it amazing. Hurricane's wheels did get melted, but I don't think I ever saw the bending. So anyways, in this movie, in Chuggington, the trains, like, even though their wheels are still on the tracks, they can move side to side, jump up in the air. But with Thomas and his friends, they can't move from side to side without shaking. Yet the trucks singing, he's lost, he's lost. Thomas is lost. They were shaking from side to side, and Thomas did that too. In fact, every engine. When James said, have you seen a tank engine who's blue with the number one on his side? He literally, like, shifted to the side. He was like this. Imagine Jackson Storm, who's heading straight. He, like, turned to his side and did this. And yet the troublesome trucks... Aren't they from Sodor? And yet, with all that, Frankie, Frankie, no, sorry, Lexi, Theo, and Merlin, very stealth of an engine. 
the songs in the movie were pretty great. I can't lie. So anyways, you guys, that is basically it for today. And also, the movie ended with a very cool song. And then Henry, Henry, for the last line of the movie, he was, he said, what did I miss? And then it just flashes down to the end credits. I didn't watch all the end credits, but when the movie comes out on DVD, it's going to be a lot cooler. I watched the movie on YouTube, and the movie's like an hour and 12 minutes long. So I was like, I don't care how long it is. I'm just loving it. So, anyway, that is all. I'm sorry that this movie review was short, but the movie is long, it's awesome, it's exciting. So, I just wanted to say this, but tomorrow I'm going to make another video on this to, like, to make, like, the review even longer. Talk about more stuff. So, anyways, that's all I wanted to say. And on Friday, if I actually get the cars I ordered in the mail, I accidentally may have or I accidentally ordered the cars in my mom's name. So on Friday, she's going to get a package that probably says Maria, Maria Jones on it. But I'm pretty sure on Amazon, it does tell you what you got anyway. So she's going to be like, she's going to open it up and say, She's going to know it's me, because I'm the only one in this house who likes cars. I mean, Ari's favorite characters are Cruz Ramirez and, like, I mean, Cruz and Natalie. That's all I want to say, guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment. I will see you later. Ka-chow!